Selena nos encanta y por supuesto cuando se trata de Iron Man 3 teníamos que estar allí. Nuestra corresponsal Adi Dardy tuvo la oportunidad de entrevistar a los protagonistas. Adelante Adi. So you play Rory. Um, how do you think uh, your character has evolved in Iron Man 3? Uh, well, I think the relationship with Tony is deeper. Uh, they uh, complement each other more and more. I think we're really getting to, to see by the third one who, who they are for one another. And um, it, it, it was fun in, in this one to actually be a part of the action a lot more. The Mandarin was my favorite character in this film, but I don't want to give much information, so why okay. don't you tell me about him? I had to find in him, uh, in my performance of him, particularly when he's uh, delivering those frightening political broadcasts to the nation and to the president and to Tony Stark. Um, I, I, I wanted to find um, in him a sense of him believing that he is right, a sense that he had a lesson to teach the world, that his way was the way of destiny of the future, his political truths were, you know, reality. Um, he, his political speeches are awful. I mean, they're vicious and cruel and terrible. But he uses Western iconography, Western history, Western language, he even has an American voice, to turn the audience on their heads and to make them feel very, very threatened. It, it, so he's, he was a wonderful challenge for me. So you're, both characters are new in the franchise, and you got to work with Robert. How was working with him? Oh, it's fun. Yeah, it's great fun. I mean, it, you've got to be on your toes, mm -hmm. or on your feet. Uh, you've got to be, uh, you know, he, he comes up with really clever ideas all the time, so, you know, you've got to sort of keep up with that. But he's, you know, he's a really sensitive guy. He's really uh, helpful, so he's good to work with. So you get to wear the suit uh, for longer in this film, uh, much longer than the, the one before. Was it more comfortable? Was it exactly the same? Did it make changes? No, they should have made more changes. <laughs> they should have made it lighter, but it's about the same, you know, and, and it's a mix of everything. You know, we're doing motion capture, we're doing CGI. So sometimes, you know, it looks like we're in the suit and we're not, but all of those things come together, I think, to, to, to create the experience. You have to wear like a big beard and hair, like how long did it take to actually put it on and off? Oh, um, it, was, it was quite long. It, it was about an hour and a half to, to get ready. But during that hour and a half, while I'm being prepared uh, by Alan Apone, my wonderful makeup artist, I actually almost go, uh, I meditate. I never chatter in the makeup chair. I close my eyes, I go very still. Uh, it's wonderful for the guys to work on me because I never move. And then I open my eyes an hour and a half later and see someone else in the mirror and I go off to work. In a way, your character is like Tony's conscious. Who in your life is your conscious? Uh, your kids, my kids are kind of my conscience. My wife and my kids help me. And I, I try to have one as well. But uh, if it ever goes by the wayside, they're, they're very quick to pull me in. I actually love the storyline with Gwyneth and you. Like, that's really good for a woman. It's very classy. It's very sort of sophisticated. It's an accurate and honest portrayal, I think, of, you know, two smart women meeting. There's no sort of, it's not written in, the, in stone that if they've had some sort of shared experience of an ex-boyfriend that they should automatically hate each other. I love that they actually get on. If producers decide, you know, let's do a movie about Rhodey, do you think it would be more fun to have a prequel of Rhodey before Iron Man 3 or after Iron Man 3? Oh, interesting. You should write it. Does the man make the suit or the suit makes the man? <laughs> well, that's really the central question of this film. I think the man makes a suit. Well, if you're talking about Giorgio Armani, he, yeah. he, he makes the suit. Our audiences are going to go away with, I think, different different ideas around that magic balance. There were several men who made that suit. Well, I guess it's a question for for Robert. Is it the suit of armor, or is the man inside it? But I think he would probably or the say, suit. Or Maybe the suit. it's a question for Jarvis. <laughs> yes. <laughs> Iron Man 3. Hasta la próxima. Bye.